Testing. All right. Welcome to another edition of the Chaos Craft Project. Um, as you can see here, I have about 10 Generation Zeros on my screen here. Sorry for the delay. I haven't updated you guys in a while. I uh, ended up using switching off of AWS hardware. And uh, I'm using AWS for a bit of it, but it was just costing too much to run these bots. I've got this old, old, old desktop at home. And it's running 10 of them like it's nothing. And the AWS hardware was just costing a bunch to run, you know, very few bots and having a lot of connectivity issues. So these 10 guys are all different node processes running on uh, AWS. You can see they're quite active for generation zeros. Um, and I finally found a seed that doesn't have them drowning because there's actually a fatal flaw right now in the... Um, Mindflyer source code is that it they can't swim. You can't program bots to swim, really. If they're not on land, it won't let them jump um, because it creates a flying error. But uh, for those of you guys that haven't seen my other videos, you probably ought to watch those first. Uh, I'll give you guys an example. We've got DLAD0. Let's take a look at DLAD. D. Okay. These are all generation ones. we got a bunch of generation ones floating here. DLAD zero, what do we say? Box slash D dash LAD dash zero, if I'm not mistaken. To find his brain. DLAD zero, back again. Oh, there's an extra letter there. L A D D. Gotcha. There we go. So we can see this guy's brain firing off. Um, entity update. Look left. Entity update. So basically, something's up with my screencast tool. I think it's taken over my thing here. So on collision, he digs. Um, if he's in water, he set the jump, which is actually that doesn't work right now. Um, Let's see, an entity update water, he walks towards it. So he has a propensity to walk towards water. Let's see if that's, yeah, he's in water. He's just a confused young man. And so he's pretty active enough that he's, they're not going to kill him automatically. I also do have real fitness functions in here. If they die in the game, they're dead. They're done. So a lot of these guys don't make it through the night, which is why we got a lot of Gen Zeros here. You don't see too much more. This guy dug himself a hole, possibly. Um, so we got, yeah, I said about 10 of them. If they don't move at least 10 blocks right away within the first 30 seconds, we pull them out. Um, and so the next thing I think I need to do is get the swim function better and then the leaderboard. Get a couple guys down here. It's this one guy staring at the ground, very sad, depressed. Oh, there's another guy. Two. They're going deep. Oh well, so Chaos Craft is moving along slowly and getting to be a bit more lively and interesting. And uh, hopefully they'll be, the goal of this project is to generate some really unique AIs using genetic learning algorithms, meaning that each one of these nodes, you know, when if they live long enough, it'll spawn a child. Um, and then it will... Uh, that those are multiple children up to X amount of children. I can't remember what I think I set it to six. Hold on. Let's find out. Up to litter, max litter size six. So it'll do about it, six kids and it'll pass on, you know, 20% of its uh, brain nose and will decay, t you know, 20%. And hopefully we'll start seeing some really unique, you know, these things will learn to survive after a while. And now that I don't have to pay the AWS bill as much, uh, well, we'll see how they survive, and most of them will die tonight um, because they will get attacked and they haven't learned to run away. Very few of them have the sense to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, attack. Uh, well, either way, again, my name is Matt um, with the Chaos, Cast Pro uh, Chaos Craft Project. Um, I would love, I'm thinking about running Andy Gogo. I'd love to get feedback from you guys. Uh, so please feel free to comment and let me know what you think. Thanks.